Well, let's move from uh, Worcester to Ascension Island in the South Atlantic, one of the most remote places on Earth and home to the sooty tern. Yeah. The birds breed on the island but then fly away. Yes, well, now researchers from the University of Birmingham are using the very latest technology to find out where exactly they go. And our science correspondent, David Gregory, has more to tell us on this. David, first off, just tell us um, exactly where is Ascension Island again? Well, it is very remote, as you say. It's in something like a million square miles of the South Atlantic. It's important for the military, for communications, and it's also home to the sooty tern. Now these birds, as you say, they do breed on the island, they raise one chick and then they fly away. And for the, some of the youngsters, they can be away for years at a time. So the University of Birmingham has been trying to find out where they go. We have sat on the island in the middle of a breeding colony, a very noisy and smelly breeding colony of uh, seabirds. And we've thought, well, how can we get a handle on where these birds go outside of the breeding season. So modern technology allows us to deploy very small devices on the legs of these birds and to track them. It tells us where in the million square miles of Atlantic Ocean they actually spend the nine or ten months that they're away from the breeding colony. So you saw the trackers themselves in that clip. They're tiny little sugar cube sized things, but they can actually detect when the sun rises and when the sun sets, and that's enough for the scientists to work out where they are. Now, there are 20 of these trackers, and the team have attached them to 20 different sooty turns on Ascension last year. They returned this year to try and find them, uh, and then they managed to get the data out of the trackers, which is fairly impressive. So the big question, of course, what did they discover? Well, we've got the data for three different birds, and what we found is, this is the data for one of them, they travel up to 25,000 kilometers. Uh, this bird was away for 200 days, in fact, from the islands. And they actually spend most of that time flying. There's no land for them to land on. In fact, they're not waterproof. So if they spent any long time on the sea, they probably would just become waterlogged and then drown. So they spend all that time flying, and indeed they even sleep while they're flying. That's incredible. Mm. Now this is just the root of one bird, but mm. does it tell us more about life in the South Atlantic generally? Yes, yeah, so it tells us more about the population of birds themselves, but also about the health of the South Atlantic and indeed things like fish stocks. Ascension is so remote when you go there. I've never been to such a remote place on the planet. Um, it is so difficult to collect um, fishing returns from that area of the Atlantic. Um, but I think maybe they are an indicator of um, health of the oceans. So this little bird and this little tiny tracker can tell us something about a million square miles of the South Atlantic. That Quite is amazing. incredible. It? David, yeah. thank you very much indeed. Uh, and indeed, if your uh, school or bird watching group is interested in helping this research by uh, chipping in for a tracker for a turn, you can find more details there on uh, David's blog at bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory.